What is up guys, Adizumi here today and I have a sweet little deck feature for you in pleasure. Today we are going over actually a League of Villains uh, character and I think this is one of the best characters in the set in my opinion because Earth is one of the strongest symbols in the game and Moonfish has a lot of tools to work with Earth. So we're going to go ahead and go over this feature, I'm going to go ahead and show you the cards and I'm going to go ahead and explain some of the combos and why I think this is a competitive choice for the League of Villains. So first we'll go over Moonfish. Moonfish is a 7 hand size 18 health. Oof, that is rough. But his enhances make up for it. This is not once per turn by the way. Enhance your attack with a printed damage of 3 or less gets plus 2 speed. If your rival has 3 or more cards in your hand, your attack gets plus 1 speed. So, essentially your first attack is going to be a 3 speed, unless your opponent is leaving 2 cards in their hand. Um, regardless, the 2 speed is nice, but a 3 speed is kind of insane, especially when you pair it with some of the attacks that we have in this pool. I enhance once per turn, your turn, discard one attack that dealt 3 or less damage from your card pool, your rival discards one card. There is no drawback to that card, other than it does stop your enhance from doing an additional speed. That's actually insane because not only do you keep your difficulties low with your attacks, but you're also getting to yeet a card from your opponent's hand, making it easier for him to kill. And with this deck, you can kill. Um, I do have one of the attacks in the size that isn't part of the sideboard, but it is an option in the deck, uh, but I don't like the, the health loss that it gain, uh, gives you. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and check out those attacks now. And then we'll go through the foundations and then the sideboard. Uh, for our attacks, I'm going to go ahead and put it on difficulty, just so it's easier. Uh, the best attack in the deck, of course. Four difficulty, one mid block, which is fantastic, four hide, or high, which is actually technically um, a six high or seven high because of Moonfish. Combo enhance, this attack does plus four, gets plus four damage. So it's a six speed, seven damage roughly. Um, that's not including all the other damage buffs you have in the deck, but you do need to combo it with a punch. Well, discard one card. You have seven cards in hand, so that's an easy thing. Your next attack this turn gets plus four damage. That's really good. Like, really freaking good. Even starting with this card, it doesn't feel like the worst thing in the world because your next attack is going to get plus four damage, meaning Moonfish could easily make another thing six or seven speed. And I think that is absolutely insane um another card we run and this is one of the cards that's also somewhat iffy because you do lose health but this is more like you're chaining them in response it doesn't have a three damage modifier sadly but what we care about is more of that enhance ability this attack is blocked your next attack gets plus two damage so your opponent is going to either block this and take five i mean not block this and take five damage which is also a punch which then also lets you set up your uh texas smash to do even more damage on an even higher, or they do block it, and it makes their uh, blocks, you know, harder to do because they have less cards in hand. Um, combo enhance. This does. This will come up sometimes. Uh, it might be, you know, this on the end of the chain, and this is all you need to finish off the game. Combo enhance lose two health. Add a copy of Relentless Barrage from your discard pile to your hand. It is a combo punch. So as you know, Moonfish is going to be punching, which is ironic because if we look at Moonfish, he ain't punching anything. <laughs> But we don't care. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go full power clash. This is the next uh, three damage, three speed attack. Um, this is technically a six speed, uh, but because of its uh, enhance, you can choose one of your foundations and this attack gets plus one speed and plus one damage for each copy of that foundation. So with back alley, you can build like, you know, your tight lips, your can't be fixed, uh, stuff like that, or, you know, other foundations that you're building up for that final attack turn. And you can build up copies that way when you drop a full power clash with powerful which is even nuttier you can uh, give it a plus speed equal to the number of ones you have in, of the same name so really fantastic attack goes really good in tandem with uh texas smash texas smash is the best attack in the whole deck hands down um then we get to hardened steel hardened steel is kind of a it's a hit and miss. Uh, I like this card because it's a low block. Uh, too low is not bad. Uh, four speed is decent because it is another three printed difficulty attack. Therefore, it could be a six to seven speed. But what's really cool is um, 
you're going to be drawing a lot of cards because you're a seven hander and so laying out your foundations and stuff like that we are a 60 card deck so it might come up you could add two cards from your discard pile to the bottom of your deck in any order you could like set up your checks possibly if you're about to deck out but it, it could come up it, it's not like the most like amazing thing by any means but you know it, it is it could still come up what i like is it's enhance remove the top card of your rival's deck if this this attack is plus x damage x is the block modifier of the remove card now this probably will only get like one or maybe like two damage um maybe even a three you know or it might you know depending on what you're playing against it could hit it higher you know you could hit a plus ultra off this and get a plus five like you know it, it, there's possibilities but you know, just another way to buff up, and it becomes a 6 to 7 speed. You know, it's a decent low block, so that's why we're running it. Um, back Alley Haymaker, this is honestly the card you want to start on the beginning of a chain, because you're going to go ahead and play Back Alley. You can either build a foundation or draw a card. Usually we're going to build a foundation. It's a punch, it's a stun 2, it's a 4 speed, and it's 5 damage. So, decent. Decent stats all around. There's a reason Back Alley is probably the best card in set 2, hands down. Um, it also has EX2, so you could pan, like, uh, pair this with another card that we run in the attacks um, to possibly swing in some high damage or like some sneak damage or whatever. Uh, but what we like is the fact we're stunning too, and then we can go into a Texas Smash, give Texas Smash a plus four, and then a speed buff, and then making it harder for your opponent to block, and then going into Texas Smash to give your next attack plus four damage. It's nothing to sneeze at. It, it's kind of insane how in tandem this deck can work um this is the only punch not in the deck but it's a really decent high block uh one high block is amazing earth beast golem it's a three damage attack therefore moonfish you know but it also gets a um moonfish a, it could be a seven or an eight speed attack it is a mid but we like it for its block um and this is one thing i really love about this card okay so with the tricks with uh both back alley and full power clash um it's enhanced both players add the top card of the deck to the momentum. Cool, right? Like, you're already getting your Powerfuls and your EX set up. And then enhance, this attack gets plus one damage for each momentum both players have. That's kind of insane. It could be an eight speed, no matter, like, depending, or, like, seven speed, depending on, like, whatever amount of damage. Like, whatever amount of momentum you've either gained or your opponent have gained. This is a great start, to be honest, to make your opponent, like, oh, crap, I'm going to die. I probably should block this and make it harder for your opponent. It does suck that it's not a punch. But it makes up for it for all its other stats. And it's actually, it kind of looks like Moonfish is, you know, all natured out. I don't know. Uh, so that is our attacks. Um, now we're going to go ahead and go into our, oh, uh, well, this is the other attack in the deck. So this isn't in the actual deck, and this is a decent option. Don't get me wrong. Six speed, six damage, no sneeze at. It's great. Two freaking checks. I hate them more than anything in the game. Uh, the only ones I, the only one I even remotely am okay with is, um, Specialist, uh, specialized sound waves like that card is cracked, but the two check. We don't have league interview. We don't have anything giving us an additional buff to our checks, so that is where it gets scary. So, but lose three health. Your next hero, your punch attack gets plus five damage. Seven speed plus five damage to anything. That's a scary ass attack. Uh, pardon my language. That is a scary attack. Like, so this is definitely, and it's a decent high block too, so, like, you could honestly throw these in instead of the Earth Beast Golem, um, that's an idea. I just personally hate two checks. So, now yeah, we're gonna go into the foundations. So, we have the best foundation in the game, probably, uh, one with nature, um, discard one card, your rival's block my fire gets plus two, so it just makes it really hard for your opponent to block. Not only are you dealing with the six, seven speed, now you have to deal with the six, seven speed plus a two to your block check. So, have a good time. Uh, response once per enhance. After you discard any number of cards, your attack gets plus one damage. So Texas Smash, plus one damage. Um, I, I think Texas Smash is the only card that has a plus one damage. I mean, I discard. But with one with nature, you can discard a card, plus one damage. This deck is meant to hit like a truck. It makes three damage attacks, not three damage attacks, and it makes Moonfish's speed buff insane. Ever since I saw Moonfish come out, I was telling people, I was like, you guys are. You have no idea. You guys are sleeping on this guy. Like, they're all worried. It's like, oh, he's going to die. Hey, 18 health sucks, but we have super regen. So, revel at his masterpiece. Enhance your turn. Discard top card of your deck. Plus one damage. That's all we care for. You know, decent mid block, too. Um, for someone with style, this card is amazing. I love this card, and I will run it as a four up in any deck that I possibly can. 
Um, it's stun hate. It makes your opponent's stun attack zero speed, so it makes it easier to block. Um, and then it's enhanced once per turn, destroy foundation, ready this foundation. It keeps your chains going. It makes your uh, foundation that is committed because of your, you know, high stack attack or something like that. And it makes it easier for you to do your next attack. I love some of the style. Uh, we're going to get you over there. There we go. Um, super regen. <laughs> we're an 18 health character, so we need health. We need to gain all the health. Um, flip after you lose health to your rival's attacker effect, gain three health. Um, hit and miss on this one. I like it. Four block is nasty. But I thought about running this, um, running the new muscle attack, or a muscle foundation that does it, but it has to receive a damage bonus. That's the only thing. It's like, I don't like it. So I'm like iffy on that. But super regen, mm, fantastic card. Shield versus competitor. Uh, you want a lot of your foundations to stay active until you can go nuts with them. So Chivalrous uh, Competitor is Seizing Hate and Flip Hate and Destroy Hate. And it's fantastic because you can flip both players draw a card, which works really well with Moonfish because you can make your speed higher, which is dumb. <laughs> so like, say your opponent has like two cards in their hand and then you make your speed stupid high and then you're like, okay, well I'm going to make both players draw a card and make their speed an additional plus one, plus you get a draw a card. It's fantastic. This card is insane. It was made for Moonfish. All right, so high value target. This is the only uh, this is the second speed hate card in the deck. It makes it so it's easier for you to make your block checks. It's also a low block. It's a really bad low block, but it's a low block. Um, and then if before your stuff would be destroyed, you destroy this foundation instead. Um, shock absorption. This card is absolutely oh, that's quick to act. Uh, shock absorption. This attack is this foundation is amazing. The, I love anything that's playable while committed. Being able to commit out, play a shock because uh, commit out. Uh, like to low foundations and then be able to destroy this plus minus two speed to your opponent's attack, making it easier for you to make your blocks. And so Moonfish lives is nuts because you could easily die. Moonfish has little health. Uh, quick to act. Uh, you know, we like speed. Why not more speed? You are a low health character already. So this makes it easy. You lose nine health and then boom, your attacks get plus one speed. And that's not once per turn. So it's also a low block. Um, four tight lipped. We like damage. Flip your foundations, get plus one damage. Uh, really, really amazing mid block and easy build off of back alley. And then it can't be fixed. This card is this card should be it can't be broken. Like this card is too broken. Flip after you commit any number of cards to your rival effects. Build top card of your deck face down. Playable while committed. Oh, I love playable and a one high block that is amazing. All right, then we'll go ahead and go over you know the bane. Nobody likes this card. No, I'm just kidding. I love this card. Um, who doesn't like speed, right? Let's make more speed. So now seizing the advantage is even more dumber because now you're making Moonfish's speed like plus five roughly, like closely, like seizing the advantage nuts. Flip cards that you don't want to have to deal with like speed hate and you build this card face down. This card is insane to Moonfish. Um, now we'll go ahead and go into our sideboard. So my favorite three damage attacker is Uabami. Uabami is so amazing. But Moonfish is just all the speed. One thing Uabami had the hardest time with is they can put out damage after damage after damage. But if your opponent blocks that, then it just blocks it. You making your opponent have to block high speed attacks or commit out to block and stuff like that. That's where I think Moonfish really shines. Not to mention, you get rid of an attack, make your difficulty lower anyways. That's insane. Uabami is an amazing cyborg character though. So like... To, you know, say you're getting one-shotted because Moonfish is low health. Go into Ubami, and now you're doing the one-shotting because she has some insane abilities. Response at the end of your rival's phase, add one card from a card pulled to your hand. That means you always have a block. Enhance, remove three from your discard pile. The next printed three damage attack gets minus one difficulty and plus one damage. We like that. Um, enhance once per turn, add one printed three damage uh, from your discard pile to your hand. So you tutor any three damage attack, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, also, you know, Earth Beast Golem, you know, being... One of those cards you can easily tutor. Uh, Gale Force Punch. Yeah, that's not in the sideboard. That was just a, you know, idea. And it is a good attack. Don't get me wrong. Uh, four ready, set, go. Because this card is amazing against seven-handers. So you side this in against the seven-hander. You're forcing them to either go down to three foundations. Or you get two foundations for free. And that's kind of insane. So its form is really good, too. And it's a decent. It's a really good high block. So that's so why I run four in the sideboard. It's an easy side in. Um, just even the draw card form is really nice. And then, but yeah, after your rival plays their fourth foundation, build two foundations from your hand. Uh, so the thing is, is most seven handers know that you're siding in ready, set, go. Uh, game two. <coughs> 
so you just make them play slower, which is amazing. If you can play Ready, Set, Go in any seven-hander, any deck, honestly, in the sideboard, do it, because seven-handers kill people. Um, three press conference. Uh, this card is a decent high block. Uh, and then, you know, you have a lot of the same attacks. So flip, reveal one high attack, uh, one attack from your hand. Next attack, you try to play this turn that has the same name as revealed, gets minus one difficulty. So, yeah, it's a decent high block, and, you know, that's not a bad ability. So that's why I'm running three of those. And then uh, two forcing surrender, a decent low block. And um, after you play a combo ability, which you have plenty of, you have eight cards that do combo abilities. Your rival discards a momentum, so it's momentum hate. And then enhance, flip discard one non-attack card from either player's card pool. This is really good in tandem with uh, when people are using capture net. It's really freaking good against um, Momo. Really good against Momo. Because Momo do her thing, and then you're like, enhance, well, that's gone. Now you can't combo off and do this. You can't go into your um, staff strike turn, stuff like that. So just kind of a mandatory card, I feel like, in any deck that can run it. Um, I run Forcing Surrender in any deck that I possibly can. So I run Earth and Fire, like Fire Tokiyami and Fire and Earth uh, Nomu, Earth uh, Moonfish, I, and Earth Uobami. Yeah, Forcing Surrender is a mandatory card, in my opinion, just because of that Enhance alone. So. Uh, so yeah, guys, that is my Moonfish deck profile. I do hope you enjoyed this deck profile. Let me know in the comments below what you think, what you're going to play in Season 4 of the My Hero Academia card game. Um, and look forward to more videos. And if you know anyone who likes TCGs, tell me that my channel. Give this video a like, subscribe, and I shall see you next time. Odd Eyes Lumia out.